Hey, good afternoon, friends. Pastor Todd here. I hope you're doing well these days. Hey, just before I get started on this uh, video, I just wanted to give you a, a quick update on the recovery. Um, it seems like it's going pretty good. It's going a little bit slower than I want it to go. You know, but then again, we live in an instant world where we want everything now, don't we? <laughs> so, um, but God is bringing his healing to the body and, and I'm standing here, I'm actually standing here right now uh, and it feels good to stand up. So, uh, but uh, the recovery's going and uh, yeah, I'm hoping to, hoping to be back to church soon. So uh, anyway, uh, you know, I wanted to ask you, I wanted to ask you a question. What's in a name? What is in a name? Um, sometimes, sometimes a name, um, depending on how it's represented, can can really automatically conjure up uh, thoughts of good reputation or, or or bad reputation. You know what I mean? If I were to say McDonald's to people, um, you know, people may they think, well, huge, huge uh, American company, huge American icon, hamburgers. Hmm, yeah. Good reputation. If I were to say Tesla, you know, one one would automatically think that uh, huge company that makes electric vehicles, you know. And if I were to say uh, American telemarketing, well, many unpleasant thoughts begin to surface. You start to think about all those spam calls you get every day, and that you have to that you have to block. <laughs> oh. When, when, when the people of Israel were enslaved in Asia, they cried out to God for deliverance. Then God answered their cry using, using the expression, I am who I am. That comes from Exodus 3.14. To introduce himself as, as their deliverer. In, in English, that sounds like a philosophical statement about God's existence. I am who I am. The term I am relating to God appears over 300 times in the Bible, first in the book of Genesis and last in the book of Revelation. He is the great I am. This has led to the, to, to the God of the Bible, sometimes being referred to as the great I am. Think about all those songs that we sing in, in our worship times. He is the great I am. We believe that Jesus was, was fully divine and, and fully human. And therefore, he, he, he also had some I am statements that, that I, I was hoping to share with you today. Jesus said that these things here. He said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Wow. I am the bread of life. That's awesome. I am the light of the world. Whoever, whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So cool. I am the gate for the sheep. Hmm. All who have come before me are, 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 are thieves and robbers, but the, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd. I love to, I love to refer to Jesus as the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever, whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Amen? Amen. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We hear that referred to all the time. Jesus is the I am. I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch 
in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. How cool is that? I am the vine. And before Abraham was, I am. Before Abraham was, I am. Friends, Jesus is, is everything and so much more. Words cannot adequately express. He feeds us. He guides us. He keeps us. He comforts us. He saves us. He shows us his way. He sticks closer than our brother. He is our best friend. He is our confidant. He is our brother. How is Jesus, my friends, how is Jesus working in your life today? Well, That is our good word for the day. And I want you to know that we love you and we're praying for you. And we would like for you to connect with us. And if you you want to connect with us, please do. Uh, We're on Facebook, YouTube, newheartnazarene.org. And just know that uh, we we at New Heart Church of the Nazarene, we're praying for you. And uh, and we we know that there are many, many prayerful needs out there. And God needs us to come to him in prayer all the time. And so so we we are with you and we thank you and we love you. And I look forward to seeing you again. So we will talk to you soon. Take care and have a great day.